Meal kits are interesting because uh, there's a lot of practical trends that have been driving them. Uh, things like the move to a digital age, uh, people wanting to do things online and interact online to buy products, um, the need for people to be on the go, um, have solutions that are really convenient whenever they want them. And then I think there's a deeply personal appeal to meal kits. People use meal kits because they're fun. Um, and having more fun in life, believe it or not, is actually a trend. We're really you know, aggressively trying to enjoy our time. Um, meal kits also give you an opportunity um, to explore diversity. You can try a lot of different flavors, um, and, and enjoy some new cuisines in a very friendly, uh, less risky, um, environment and they're also a great opportunity to educate yourself. Meal kits can teach you how to cook. Um, it's a skill that a lot of people feel is lacking. Uh, meal kits is a, is a great place to become a better chef. Well, I think the way you discover opportunity is you see something that, that threatens you. So certainly the rapid popularity of meal kits, uh, the fact that they've kind of jumped to a, a, a high position in both our shopping and food culture very rapidly has made uh, grocery stores stand up and take notice. The online meal kit companies are having some issues. They can't keep customers. People think they're too expensive. Um, so they're in a period of reorganizing their business models, which makes it a great time for grocery stores to jump in and offer meal kits. Grocery stores also have the added advantage that they can provide complete meal solutions. Not just meal kits, heat and eat, food bars, grab and go. So they could do things that online meal kit providers never could. So it is a real opportunity for grocery to take the lead in that segment. For some retailers, to be honest, meal kits may not be the exact answer. I kind of distill meal kits down to a simple solution, and that is meal kits let you plan menus, they give you a convenient shopping experience, and put a fresh meal on the table. So certainly the kit model does that, but perhaps for smaller retailers, for uh, suburban retailers or rural retailers that don't have the core meal kit customers, there's other formats that they can go after that provide that same formula, but are a little bit more friendly to their business model. And that would include things like promoting a heat and eat program um, in tandem with the menu planning. That would include focusing on displays that include all of the ingredients that customers need to make the recipes. The meal kit concept is sound, but sometimes it's exactly what you do with it that matters.